there's a shelf of calcium by that LED, a huge wedge of calcium there. Hi, my name is Richard Schlafmitz. I'm chairman of cardiology at St. Francis Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about shockwave therapy that hopefully will be um, FDA approved and on the market in early 2021. And we've been involved at St. Francis in a study that's a multi-center trial. It was done in the United States and Europe and we completed the trial and just published the results. And it's a pretty exciting uh, results that we obtained with this trial. And first I'd like to tell you a little about angioplasty and stenting and why this is such an important technology. Your heart is a muscle, pumps blood around the body, and there are three arteries that give the heart blood flow. They're called coronary arteries. And when people have heart attacks um, or have angina needing um, those arteries to be fixed, Usually we can fix them with angioplasty and stents where we put a little metal device inside the artery to open it up. This is instead of going for bypass surgery. Now when you have a blockage in an artery, that blockage can be composed of three different types of morphology. It could be lipid, which is fat, or it could be fibrotic tissue, which is somewhat soft, or it could be calcified tissue. And calcified tissue is extremely hard. And because it's extremely hard, when you do angioplasty and stents, the stents don't frequently open up all the way. And this causes complications acutely during the procedure, as well as afterwards with something called restenosis where a blockage comes back. So when we do angioplasty and stents, we usually get great results, but if you have calcified coronary arteries, it makes the procedure a lot more difficult. There are some technologies that are currently available that we do where we use a rotor router or a sanding device called orbital atherectomy, and they're quite effective and they're great, great tools. So this new technology called Shockwave, it breaks up the calcium in a way that is very safe for the patient. To give you an analogy of what we're talking about, when you have calcium, it's like a rock. So the way shockwave works is similar to when somebody has a kidney stone, and you know people use sometimes ultrasound to break up a kidney stone and then let the particles flow out. Well, the shockwave therapy is analogous to that, but it works inside the coronary artery in a safe manner where the particles don't flow downstream because we're not disrupting the wall and the calcium is behind that wall. So we can safely use the shockwave balloon to break up the structure of the calcium and then successfully stent the patient. So this is the actual device that we use. This is the energy source and we connect our catheter to the energy source. And once we do that, we place the catheter over a wire that we put down the artery. This is routine when you do angioplasty. When you do an angioplasty, you put a wire down the vessel and you thread a balloon or stent over that wire. In this particular situation, we take the shockwave um, balloon attach it to the device which gives us the energy source. We place the balloon at the site where the calcium is. How do I know where calcium is in an artery? Well, you can sort of get an idea from an angiogram, but here at St. Francis, we use a technology called optical coherence tomography. So we OCT prior to treating this. And in fact, we're the world's leader in that technology. It's something we started doing seven, eight years ago. Instead of looking at a blockage on the outside of the artery, we actually put a camera inside the artery, which tells us exactly the type of morphology we're dealing with. Is it calcified? Is it nodular calcium? Is it deep calcium or is it lipid? And the beauty of this technique, it leaves no mystery. So when we do angioplasty and stenting, we know exactly what we're doing. And the marriage between shockwave and OCT is fantastic because shockwave is ideal when you have heavily calcified arteries. And the OCT lets you know when that's calcified. So what we do is we put a wire down the artery, we examine it with an imaging device to see where the calcium is. We put our shockwave catheter over the wire. And then here is our activation button where we can activate the shockwave to send the sound waves to crack the calcium. We then image again to show that we've got the effect, cracking the calcium, and then safely put the stent in. So I'm really excited about this device because now almost any physician who does angioplasty and stenting can safely treat a patient with calcified disease where in the past they might have had an inadequate result, giving them restenosis or possibly needing bypass surgery. Thank you.